Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you guys can see, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks that I feel are life changing when it comes to the eyes. This is for beginners. This is for people who know how to do makeup. This is for people like me who are like in the middle stage. You're not like full on professional, but you know, you can put on some makeup. I really wanted to share this just because I feel like I've been on YouTube for so long and this is the place that I learned how to do this. And this is just the technique that I feel like works the best for my eye shape. And if you have that sunken crease, like that gorgeous crease, Oh my gosh, these steps are going to apply to you. I feel like you are so lucky if you have that gorgeous Dulce Candy Jaclyn Hill crease. You know what I mean? So yeah, grab a snack. This is probably going to be a long video. I just finished filming it. And yeah, I just basically break it down as to how you can apply your eyeshadow perfectly every single time. So enough chit chat. If you want to see this look, then just keep on watching the video. Oh, er, before we get into it, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I would absolutely love it. No pressure. As always, thank you for watching and let's get right into it. Okay, so first eyeshadow tip is tape. Obviously, everyone and their mom has seen this method and I'm sure one of you watching this, if not many of you watching this has still not tried this method yet and I'm telling you I was one of those that was just like no like I'll just clean it up with a makeup wipe or wipe it off it's not that big of a deal why would I use tape but promise try it out and I guarantee you're gonna love it so what I do is I'll take whatever type of tape and I will stick it on the back of my hand just so I take some of that tackiness off and then I will apply it to my eye in whatever angle. And you can like maneuver this onto your eye in whatever direction that you want. If you want it to be really sharp or angled up or down, you get what I'm saying. And moving on to the second tip is priming your eye. Obviously you can use like the Primer Potion by Urban Decay or you can use handy dandy concealer, which I absolutely love doing. You can either use a skin tone, a flesh toned, uh, color to prime your lids or you can use a white which I love doing if I'm going to use brighter colors Or I really want those colors to stand out I will use a white concealer and this one is called white out by Kat Von D and Just put it on your eyelid as if it were a primer. You can even use a shadow stick for this that are white Whatever you need you don't necessarily have to go out and buy a white concealer Just any type of concealer you can even buy light concealer if you want and use that as a primer both work, I've done both. Now when you do the tape method, I recommend doing it first before you do your foundation, but you don't necessarily have to. You could still do the tape method with foundation, just don't do your under eyes. You're gonna pack on a ton of product underneath there. Anyways, when you're done, but totally recommend doing your eyes first and then the foundation. I just feel like you'll like it if you haven't done that already. But you know, some of us like our routine and if we mess it up, it just throws us off. I get it. <laughs> and then once you put the primer on, you're gonna want to set that. That way it doesn't get patchy, apply unevenly. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of white shadow and just set that concealer. That way when we start piling on different colors on there, it'll stand out. And again, you do not have to use a white concealer, whatever you want. You don't even have to use a primer if you don't want. That's That'll just prolong your eyeshadow wear throughout the day. And up next, brushes are so important when applying eyeshadow. Brushes and the way that you hold them. When I first apply the very, very first shade to my eyes, I always go in with a transition shade. I promise if you start out your eyeshadow this way, it's going to change your life. It's going to make it just that much more fluid as you go further into your look. Does that make sense? Let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about. And you can apply these same steps to every single eyeshadow look and it'll come out amazing every single time, I promise. Just practice it. So your tone, whatever shade range you are, get a color that when you put it in the crease, it transitions into a beautiful gradient. For me, this is gonna be this shade right here. The lightest shade that you're going to put on your eyes for that day is what you're going to want to put in your transition zone and in your crease area. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And the area that I'm talking about is right here. Now, for myself, I do not have a crease. 
I don't have that gorgeous crease and I'm just gonna use Jaclyn Hill as an example just because she has that well-known eye shape. For her, you guys, if you have that eye shape, you literally can put one shadow in there and it looks like you did so much work, but literally you just slapped in a color in there. For eyes like ours, or if you even have it more, your eyes are more monolid than mine, you have to do a lot more work, a lot more blending. It shows mistakes so much more with eyes like this, monolid eyes. If you make a mistake, it shows up so much worse. And if you have eyes with a gorgeous crease like Dulce Candy as well, I just feel like it's easier to work on. And I know that just personally, whenever I do other people's makeup as well, I just feel like, I'm like, why can't my eyes look like this? I have to work so much harder. So keep that in mind. We have to work to make that dimension happen. And by doing this, working in transitions and gradients, this is, I'm telling you, this is going to make your eyeshadow look amazing. The lightest shade in your crease region, just like this. And with the brush, the way that you're gonna want to apply it is put your hand as far out on the brush as you can. And again, this is just my technique. I'm not a professional or anything like that, so take this as you'd like. And I just lightly, with the lightest amount of pressure on my hand, and just blend it in there. Because again, we're not trying to have a lot of color payoff for this area. We just want this part to blend the other darker shadows that we're gonna put next to it. So does that make sense? Sense windshield wiper motions with the lightest amount of pressure with your hand on the brush like this and like this and go back and forth. And again, you're gonna want it to be a fluffy brush like this. This one is the Dona Lace EB13. So always for transition, I recommend a fluffy brush. Again, that's just my technique, but I use this technique for every single eyeshadow look. Same brushes. Next, we are going to go in with one more shade darker. I'm going to take this brush right here. It has these white bristles, and it is the Sedona Lace EB09. And I'm going to take the next shade up, which is probably this warm brown reddish color, and I am going to work that in right next to where we put that transition color. So again, lightest color all over the lid first in the crease area and then follow up. And I get the same technique with this brush, I'm holding it about right in the center and I'm not putting a lot of pressure because we're still doing that gradient fading thing. Just like this. And the beauty about that tape is you don't have to be extra careful because we're just gonna peel off that portion anyways. So really work that in. And again, I'm not putting a lot of pressure. Let's say you want to deepen that a little bit more, then you know, push down a little harder and grab a little bit more product. But this, again, we're just trying to make a gradient. You see that? Grab some more of that color, dust it off, and put it right next to that previous color you put on. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure on my eye either, because remember, we're still just trying to make that gradient effect. I'm working mine into the inner corner, just because that's personal preference. You don't have to do that. Just apply the same principle to your own eye shape. And if you were doing the halo effect, you would just do the same thing and apply it into the inner corner. But today I'm just going to do the, you know, basic application. All right, and let's say that it looks a little choppy in this area. Again, take your brush, put your finger on the end and just blend it out. And if you need to, add a white to it and blend it in with that. Whatever you need to do but you won't have to do that if you start out with the lightest color and blow it out. Now, depending on what you would want, you can wait to deepen the outer V. This is where you would go in with your darkest brown and go in and deepen the outer V, but let's say you want to put a shade in the center. I like doing the dark brown on the outer V last if I'm going to do like a a pop of color on the center and for the purpose of the video I really want to show you what I'm talking about if you are going to put a pop of color on your eyelid Today I'm going to use color pops super shock shadows and the shade is in Kathleen lights I wanted to use a shimmery tone. So I'm going to use it on my finger just because I like applying color pop shadows with my finger And I'm going to apply it to the center of my eye 
Again, it could be any color that you want. You can do this technique with every single look you want to do and it's going to come out perfectly every single time, promise you. Now the reason why I do that is just because it makes when we blend out the darker color much easier. For this part, I like using two brushes. You totally don't have to, but in my opinion, it just makes it easier. I use this to blend it out and I'll use a brush like this that's flat to just apply the color directly to that area so it's like nice and dark and deep. So I'm gonna take that dark brown color that's in the palette and I just take this and I apply it to the outer V. So where you put your crease color, this is where you're gonna apply uh, your darkest color. Just right in that V section. And you're literally going to put it in a V. You can pack the color on there too if you want, depending on the amount of smokiness that you want. But pack in the color there, and then go back in with this brush, and then just blend it out. Again, put your finger out at the end, and put the slightest bit of pressure, and blend that into the crease. But I think you're understanding the technique. Now I know this is like all basics. You're like, I know how to do this. But you know, some of you don't. And I just feel like this is gonna be a useful video for those who don't understand. And let's say you didn't want to do that, just go back in with that color that you put second, the second to lightest color, and then just go right over it. Go right over it and it's gonna blow out even more and then just work your way out if you want it to be more dusty. Don't take any more color, just dust out the edges. Again, with the placement of your hand. All right, now once you have that layer there, this is where you'll go in with a really tiny brush like this. Let's say you want it just a little bit darker. You want it to look even more like a gradient. This is where you'll go in with your black the final color black <laughs> and literally just dot this is what I like to do I like to dot where I want that black well dot pat I will pat where I want that you see so it concentrates it just in that tiny little area and then once you've done that you can go in with that same white fluffy brush that we've had or you can go in with one that's just a little bit smaller than this, like this, and then blend it out so it's just, it just blows out ever so slightly that tiny black line. And blending is key. If you feel like it looks choppy, don't get any more product and just sit there and blend it out. Put your hand further out on your brush and give it some nice little back and forth stroke motions just like this until it gets blended out to your desired color. That's all I'm doing, and then take off your tape. Promise, try the tape method with this as well. Just like that, look. Cleaned, perfect little eyeshadow look. And then that's it, you guys, literally. Look, anyone can do that, I promise you. You just have to uh, practice. Keep practicing. If you're about to take your makeoff off that day, just take off your eyeshadow and do it that way. And you see how it looks like there's, it just, transitions into a beautiful uh, sunset or something. It's so simple and you just have to go in there thinking like, yeah, totally I can do that. Just work it in sections like that and you are going to be able to do it, I promise. And now that you have everything on, this is the time that you are going to go in and blow things out if you want. And for that step, what I like to do is I like to use, I like to use, <laughs> I like to use this fluffy brush like this. And I'm going to go in with the second to lightest, darkest brown that we use, not the darkest and I will go ahead and smoke this area out just a little bit. And I'm just a little bit closer, just because I want a little, uh, I want a darkness to it, you know? I want to really get it just a little bit darker. You see the difference? It just smoked it out just a little bit. And go back in and just add that brown. And now I'm gonna go back a little bit further and just blend it out. And then once you do that, you're gonna to want to go back in with that same fluffy brush, add a little bit of that color that you did for the transition, put your hand out on the furthest part of the brush and then really blend out that line. So it still looks beautiful 
like it's a gradient. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you found some tips helpful in this. This is just what I've learned through watching YouTube videos and what techniques that I found work for my eye shape. I feel like this technique will work for every single eye shape. If you have a monolid, I feel like you will love using this technique by always using the whole transition thing and then working in, whatever. And then if you have the eyes with that defined crease, then oh, you're lucky. I feel like you can do so much to your eye and it just looks incredible. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like videos like this. I appreciate the time that you took to watch this and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.